If you own firearms, this is probably the most important video of your life. The sponsor of today's video is this really cool app called Got Your Six. What that app does is it gives you all the up-to-date gun laws that they're trying to push through. This way you can attack them systematically and know what's happening in your area and know how to fight it. It also has a group section. You can form groups, and when you have those groups formed, you can press a panic button. You press that panic button, it will notify everybody in your group that you're in trouble, and it also turns the GPS on your phone so they can find you, and hopefully they can give you a helping hand when you need it the most. For only $2.99, you get all those services. Pre-register today at gotyour6app.com. If you've lived under a rock, you are probably not aware, but the ATF has been fishing. So what they're doing is trying to meet criminals. Now they're criminalizing all gun owners. As a matter of fact, if you don't believe me, if I can find the video, I'll post a link in the description. Even if you do not buy edgy parts, they went after this guy who happens to have a diesel channel on YouTube because they knew for a fact he owned firearms and he was purchasing normal oil filters or at least that's what the story is, just normal, everyday oil filters. He purchased them online, so they said, well, he owns firearms, he's purchased oil filters, there's a possibility he might be making silencers. So there could be an ATF agent sitting at your local parts store, writing down the license plates of people that are buying car parts, oil filters, plumbing supplies, whatever, seeing if they're on an ATF buy list, like you've purchased a firearm, hunting license, ammunition, anything like that that's traceable, and they may show up to your house. So, with that being said, let's take them to school, Lu Lucille. There's a couple of things you need to absolutely know when dealing with the police. Now, I had a totally different opinion about police before the quarantine, because in my area, we elect a sheriff, we know the sheriff, we pick him, if he upsets us, we'll vote him out. Yeah, we got the state police that stop at our local restaurant that'll harass us for like not having working taillights or a driver's license or something like that, but for the most part, I've had a very good opinion about police. After quarantine happened, and I've seen some of the stuff that's been pulled, I have a very poor opinion. And the ATF has been fishing. Now there's a bunch of different theories why they're fishing. I'm assuming it's to stay relevant because they are literally an agency that's set out for violating the Constitution. Anywho, so a particular one of my viewers had purchased the portable wall hanger and the feds and the ATF showed up at his house. So if you find yourself in that situation, what do you need to know? Number one, the most important thing you absolutely cannot forget you cannot talk yourself out of being arrested no matter what there is nothing you can say that will prevent you from getting arrested if they have enough evidence to arrest you they in fact will arrest you so if the feds show up at your doorstep what you need to say are you detaining me if they say no i do not want to answer any questions without a lawyer present and you shut your mouth. I can tell you through experience, you cannot talk yourself out of being arrested. I have the record to prove it. All you can do is shut your mouth. I'd have a completely clean criminal record if I would have just shut my mouth. If they're asking you questions, they do not have enough to prosecute you, or at least not enough to make it stick. Them asking you questions is a good thing. Remember, are you detaining me? Force them to answer that question. They'll change the topic, and they've gotten me several times. Like, even when I haven't gotten in trouble, I'm like, shit, they got me talking again. Just force them to answer the question. Are you detaining me? Repeat it as loudly as you have to. Keep repeating it over and over and over and over and over until they say no, and then be like, okay, we're done here. There is no reason for me to talk to you. I will answer zero questions without a lawyer present. And they'll ask you questions again to try to get you talking. Be like, lawyer, 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 lawyer. No matter what, do not talk. Shut your mouth. So he actually talked. 
This is how it went. So the first thing they asked them, did you buy a portable wall hanger? What they were trying to do there, or at, oh, holy crap, let me stop for a second. I am not a lawyer. I am not offering, nor am I giving legal advice. If you take legal advice from me, you're stealing. All right, so they asked him, did you buy a portable wall hanger? What they were hoping he said was no. Clearly, they'd already know he had bought one because otherwise they wouldn't be at his house in the first place. But if they can get him to say no, well, that's obstruction to justice. There you go. That would be his charge. So that's the first thing they hit him with, trying to get him on obstruction to justice. Next question they asked, did you try to put it in your gun? I'm assuming what they wanted him to say here was, no, it would not fit, or no, it does not fit, or something to that effect, to prove he had intent. Intent is the difference. This solvent trap right here is absolutely 100% legal. Unless they can prove that you had intent to make this a silencer. Or you're going to make this a silencer. If they come to you and you're like, oh, I got this so I could form one it. That means you bought silencer parts without the proper license to buy silencer parts. If you bought this as a solvent trap, realized it's a really shitty solvent trap, and then form one it, that's a different story. Because you didn't buy it as silencer parts. You bought it as a solvent trap. Now, if you bought it with the intent to form one it, you're normally buying silencer parts. Definitely don't want to do that. If you buy this, you're buying a solvent trap, and then later on you decided, well, you know, it works pretty good as a solvent trap. This is basically an 80% silencer, so let me send out my Form 1. Okay, my Form 1 got approved. Now I will use the parts out of this piece right here and make it a silencer. Same with the portable wall hanger. That is 100% legal. That will not fit in your rifle without modifying the part. Yeah, it's just removing a screw, but the point is, that part needs to be modified to go into your firearm, which makes it not an auto sear. Now, if you bought it with the intent to modify it, or the intent to try to put it in your firearm, well, you screwed yourself. That guy answered, I bought it because it's a key hanger. No, I no longer have it because it was a crappy key hanger. The mount didn't work well. After I put too many keys on there, it fell off the wall, and I threw it away. Where were we? Did you try to put it in your gun? Then they asked them, do you own Hawaiian t-shirts? Because apparently now, there is a legal dress code in this country. That's insane. I believe that was just a diversion, though, to try to set him off base, to try to make him feel like he was guilty of something, to keep him talking. But after they asked him, do you own Hawaiian t-shirts? And he was like, yes, doesn't everybody? They asked, are you a part of the Boogaloo movement? And the Boogaloo movement is a peaceful protest. So now they're shitting all over the First Amendment. Because it is protected. We can peacefully protest. I mean, yes, they could probably dredge up some sort of case where somebody posted Boogaloo on their Facebook and did something violent. But they're the exception. They're not the rule. I have not seen a whole bunch of people in Hawaiian t-shirts setting cities on fire, burning buildings down. How come the Boogaloo movement is now classified as a domestic terrorist group when they've done nothing, nothing at all, except for a show of force, peaceful protest on social media? When there are other groups out there <coughs> that have literally burnt cities down, looted, harmed, and done real terrorism and are not considered a domestic terrorist. Like I said, all firearms owners, it doesn't matter if you buy the most politically correct single shot 12 gauge shotgun with a 90 inch barrel that you specifically only use for dove hunting, we are all being criminalized. You're under the axe too, so pay attention. Uh, number four, did you know it was an auto seer? Again, they were trying to prove intent. He was like, no, I bought it because it was a key hanger. And we'll get into more why he bought it. Number five, why did you buy it then if it was just a key hanger? He's like, 
One, to hang my keys. Now, this is actually how he finally got them to quit asking him questions. Two, to support uh, Duncan Lemp. Lemp. The guy they executed in the middle of the night. And they're like, well, we don't know who Duncan is. He's like, bullshit, you don't know who he is. You murdered him. You murdered people, and now you're going to even deny their existence? Are you kidding me? And that was where they finally started backing off, and they were like, oh, okay, you know, we'll back off. But again, refer back to rule number one. No matter what you say, it doesn't matter. You cannot talk yourself out of being arrested. You will never be able to talk yourself out of being arrested. That's not the way it works. If they can arrest you, they will. Now they might be like, oh, well, you could be our confidential informant and then everything will be dropped. I've watched people go down that path. You know what happens? They use them. They milk them for everything they're worth. Everybody they ever ratted on, they'll find out anyways because it's right in the discovery. And then they arrest them anyway and they still get charged with the stuff that they were told to, it was going to be dropped. No matter what, even if you go down the confidential informant route, you cannot talk yourself out of being arrested. Please don't ever forget that. Hell, if you don't believe me, watch that show the first 48 hours. Every single one that doesn't end in, well, this was an unsolved murdery, murder is because they got somebody to talk. If you keep your mouth shut, you will be okay. Never forget, you cannot talk yourself out of being arrested. It will never work. I've tried. I failed miserably. Anyway, I apologize for the high energy video. And I apologize that I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. We're running Christmas extras right now, so I just don't have the time. Not till after Christmas. That's when I'll be back in the normal swing of things. Whew. If you like to help support the channel, I got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Just by clicking on those links. Even if you don't buy what the link is for. Just click on that link. And then do the Amazon shopping you're going to do anyway. I had a little kickback for it because you went there off my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.